Hi and welcome back. A return to Namibia is going to make us face some struggles. One puncture. But at the same time, it's going to show us why all this is worth it. It was running really fast. After incredible days in Botswana, we are coming back to Namibia. We are really looking forward to exploring this country. Thank you, Thank goodbye. You. so far in Africa. The offices were really nice and it was a matter of I would say 20 minutes to finish both sides and we didn't have to pay anything um, for the car uh, which is great and good to know if you are going to go from Botswana to Namibia. If you use this border you will not have to pay the gold fund that we had to pay actually coming from Zambia to Namibia. They don't care. Uh, we only told them to stop or connect. Just we are interested in having in and out. Uh, other than that, they just put uh, the number plate in a in a book, and that's it. What we didn't know was that we were bringing something from the Okavango Delta. We have a problem. We have. An ant problem. We just left the dishes here like we normally do and they found a way to leave in the car below down there. This is where all are they going. I think they're inside the rock slider, which is a problem because we cannot really get there. Technically, we transported ants from Botswana to Namibia. We are in Grootfontein and first we need to get some water. One of the easiest ways we found in Zambia is to get it from the tap at the big petrol stations. 
They're feeling something there. We just stopped at a mall in Grufenstein and do some groceries and Ty is repairing right now. One puncture, could not find him now. Piece of scissor or so. We managed to do some groceries, repair the tire and also put some water and we are heading towards the Tosha National Park and from there we will explore the north part of Namibia and we will slowly drive towards the ocean. Namibia is a bit different um, in terms of landscape. I would say there's a bit more hills at the moment here where we are and a bit more grass on the side of the road. I mean there's not so many cows around but what we see is that both sides of the road um, there's fences. So in Botswana we could go and take a dead truck or just stay in the bush, but here it's just impossible because everything is just closed with fences. The only chance of camping in the wild was next to the road. But it was really just a small struggle as we were heading early towards the Tosha. So far, the flattest we have seen with less vegetation. Zebra crossing. The highlight of this park is without a doubt the Tosha pan, the biggest salt pan in Africa. It is that big and bright that is visible even from space. And many animals gather around it. Depending the light and the season, the pan changes color, creating dreamy backgrounds. This only adds to the already stunning wildlife. We experienced many struggles during our trip, sometimes small, sometimes big. This is part of the journey. But these are always worth it to go through, as they lead us to moments like this.
Maxime black rhino, one of the most critically endangered species, was just incredible. Having them so close, even seeing a cub, we couldn't believe our luck. Moments like this makes you forget about all these insignificant struggles. is wet and it's not um, bright color anymore. I think there's like a thin layer of water. It's kind of greenish. They're smaller, isn't it? Driving in a Tosha also means getting a new paint color. We will check a couple of more water holes and then we will stop at the picnic because our lifesaver is leaking everywhere again. So we will need to dry everything and including the batteries from the camera that just fell there where the water was. lunch break and something to attract zebras because <laughs> if the zebras come then there could be also lions coming we don't have anything to attract lions apart from us and a coffee as well because a lunch without coffee mm -mm. That's how I imagine national parks in Africa, not like Kafue or South Ranga where you only look at bushes, but here it's wide open. We're crossing the whole park east to west. We really miscalculated the time and we had to rush to get out in time. A bit too playful.
Yeah, yeah, go continue, continue. Continue, good, good boy. Slowly we start seeing hills and mountains. The landscape is changing. Do you like the new color of the car? Yesterday when we were leaving the gate, they asked us um, what's the color of the car. They had to tell him it's blue. He couldn't believe it. <laughs> we are going north towards Opubo. And then we will turn left towards the coast. We are continuing north through some of those very long straight roads. We just put some music and enjoy the ride. The weather is beautiful, so we decide to make a stop to clean the car. to wash with pressure mm. with pressure yes. pistol yes. hands down the best car wash in Africa he knew exactly where to insist underneath the car I cannot believe how clean the car is. When you can see that the shock absorbers are red, it means that it's too clean. We were clean and ready to explore the desert. The car was clean for only 20 minutes. It is a new record. But you will have to wait for the next episode to find out why. See ya!